what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today I got an awesome video for you guys that's right you guys read the title the old town sportsman autopilot 136 is here so I'm gonna be doing a six month review on the lines and fabrics trailer um, the last video you guys like blew up and it did probably the best video on my channel so far so um, I get a lot of questions on Facebook asking uh, even on YouTube also of where do I get this trailer how do I get information on it I'm gonna link all that below in the comments or in the information section and uh, you guys can check out the website it is from lines and fabrics uh, it's my buddy Chris I ended up getting this straight shank trailer it's about 17 feet long as you can see um, I'm just gonna kind of roll through this right here um, this is kind of an unboxing too um, in a way with my old town so I'm gonna kind of just go through the basics of everything that I like on the trailer and that's kind of really noticeable so alrighty so from the start right here I have a tongue swivel right here so I can fold this back in under my DZ box so that I don't smack my shit on it and uh, that's came into really good use now lately because uh, it's starting to get warm out and I cleaned the garage out and now I have more room to walk in so that was kind of a key factor when I was wanting to buy this trailer um, one of the main things I wanted so it's a really awesome advantage of having a, a trailer in your garage and um, stowing it away so you can kind of have more room to walk around in and not banging your shins up like I said so um, trying to see anything up here no not really uh, the DD box came into great use I don't have my key with me right now but inside here I literally carry all my tackle my life jacket my catch board um, my camera mount um, some tools um, you name it I mean I got it in here the only thing that I was kind of bummed that it did not fit um, was going to be this Minn Kota. But hey, whatever. I, it doesn't matter to me because that's going to be my back seat um, in my truck. That's going to be literally the only big thing in the back seat. So, <clears throat> like I said, I have everything stored away in here um, that I need. Uh, and then, yeah. So now we're going to move on to. The old town autopilot 136 the main key factor of why I bought this boat <laughs> the spot lock the trolling motor I mean come on this is just awesome I haven't even been out on this yet and uh, I'm taking it out Sunday for the first time weather's supposed to be great here in Michigan and uh, looking forward to get out there and uh, do some fishing I don't know how well it's going to be uh, this early in the season, but we're going to see how it uh, how it performs, and I'm um, really looking forward to it. I've watched tons and tons of videos on YouTube, and uh, I am just ready to get on the water and start catching some big old smallies. <laughs> but uh, I think this uh, this hatch, the front hatch right here, I'm going to start using for one of my batteries um, up here, and down the road I want to get some lights. Have my navigation lights up here so that battery will be for here maybe i'll put a usb port or something right here i think that's cool um i like the handle i think that's pretty good um i don't i don't really mind if it's turned the other way or um vertical it doesn't matter to me um, that doesn't really bother but it seems like it's a pretty good handle talked about the hatch um now let's talk about the second uh most thing why of I bought this kayak was the deck space I mean look at that you can literally it's like a dance floor <laughs> you have so much room to stand and fish from and lay your catch board on here measure your fish lay a couple rods across um, I mean you name it and you still got tons of room so I um, thought that was one of the main things that I was wanting in my next kayak um, before I bought this was some deck space so boom that was that 
<clears throat> now you guys already know about the battery inside here. I'm running a Biano um, lithium battery. It's a 12 volt, um, 80 amp hour. And I haven't used it yet. And uh, we're gonna put it to use on Sunday, like I said. Um, so I got it charged up, it's ready to go. Um, I got some, just some random stuff in here I, I normally have in my kayak. Cal Coast clips. Um, this is for my catch board. You lay it across right here. Um, normally, this is supposed to be a catch tray right here. It goes across. Um, I have the 26 inch board. It does lay across and it doesn't lay on it, but it doesn't go all the way end to end. Maybe that's a 32 inch board, but I'm gonna start laying my board on the, the deck space and put that into some use. Um, I have tons of use on it, or tons of space on it, so why not use it? Um, other than that, I sat in the seat when I had this uh, boat off the trailer. This feels really comfortable. Um, the attachable, um, I guess I still got the tag on it in the back. Um, you can recline the chair back if you want. Um, and then inside here, there's another little hatch right there where I'm going to put my fish finder battery. I'm running a Garmin 93 SV UHD. Absolutely love that unit. Here is the rudder um, handle to control the XL fishing rudder. Uh, so that's going to come into good use when I'm wanting to control or I'm wanting to go out on the water. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, comes with uh, four rod holders, um, flush mounted. So that can be good use. Uh, I'm going to actually use this one right here or the other one. I'm pretty sure this one just for my net. I never really used it for a net, any of the flush mounted hold it, rod holders, but now that I have the Minn Kota up here in the front, I was laying it across right here. That's why I got this paddle holder um, up here. So I would take my uh, fishing net and lay it across, but now that's kind of in the way. So I'm going to keep it back here. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll have a crate back here. I have a black pack um, on the way here. Um, I had a gift card from uh, Black Hall Outfitters is where I actually got this boat from. So a uh, big shout out to them and thank you, Sean, for all the help you gave me and uh, super excited that the boat is here. So, um, so like I said, I got the black pack back here. That's going to be nice to have. And then you still have so much more room. I mean, look at that. So fit the whole family here. My wife and my daughter can sit back here if we want and bring a cooler and we can go out to, uh, you know, the beach or whatever. I mean, there's just so much room for camping or whatever you're planning on doing with this boat. So anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm sure you guys all know about this little attachment right here. If you're for some reason not wanting to take this um, trolling motor out, and you're wanting to paddle for the day <laughs> and get your workout in, you can slide this back in there and uh, have a paddle or paddle for the day. So you got four, I think 18 inch um, track mounts on here. Um, I gotta tighten these up. I don't think they're all the way tightened down. I was just kind of messing around with uh, putting this Yak Attack a lock mount right here. And uh, I put my Garmin on there, and uh, I haven't really got it too stable yet or too tight, but I gotta mess around with it. So, but these seem pretty sturdy, pretty good. Um, other than that, uh, I'm gonna move to under the trailer. Um, I had to move my bunks under the trailer. I had to space them out a little bit. So you can see they're over to one hole to the right or to the left on each side so I had to space them out they're about from bunk to bunk they're about 11 inches apart so now they fit flush and they are it just fits awesome on this trailer so another big key factor on this trailer that I wanted was the Yakima topwater rod holder box this thing is awesome you can hold up to over over 12 plus rods in here if you wanted to, if you want to make it work. 
Um, I currently have about six in there and that's not all the rods I have, but it's mainly ones I use. I'm not one to bring 10 rods out on the water. I'm good for five and five or six at the most and that's just how I work, so. Um, one of the other cool things I thought on this boat was awesome was the paddle holder on the side. Um, didn't really care for having to bring the paddle out here and then stick it in my rod holders on my black pack or my tackle crate. Um, I haven't really figured out what I'm going to use this for, but I'm assuming some, you know, my keys, my wallet, um, maybe my remote if I'm not using it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have it around my neck or if I'm going to have it um, to my, uh, connected to my pants or, you know, my belt loops or whatever. Or if it's just going to be consistently just stayed in here, stowed in here or not. So, we shall see. Let's see. There we go. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Um, not going to go over every key factor in this boat. I'm sure everybody here that's wanting this boat or looking into it has um, at least looked or watched the video that they like watching at least once or twice and they kind of know the all the specs on this boat. So um, one thing I do want to mention is this is obviously the 136 and it's a little bit more stable than the, tw the 120 from what I've been told. And I wanted the deck space um, clear, clearly just to stand up. You know, I'm 90% of the time when I'm fishing, I'm standing up. So um, this was perfect. The trolling motor, the deck space, the seat's comfortable. Um, the battery's out of the way. That's the best part. Another battery could be out of the way is in here. So, I mean, what more could you want? And you got two cup holders also. I thought that was pretty cool. They have... The boat is really super heavy, um, so I really uh, would recommend getting um, some landing gear in the back or some kind of um, kayak cart. Or if you're like me, um, I'm gonna give it a shot for the next few months and uh, just start water loading it because I have a trailer. So, um, like I said, if you're interested in uh, looking into a trailer like this, uh, my buddy Chris makes them. We're out of uh, Michigan. I think he's out of Fenton, Michigan. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna link everything at the bottom. He has some uh, wide gaps also, so it carries two kayaks side by side. So there would be another one right here. <clears throat> and uh, about the same length too, 16, 17 feet. Could be wrong. All the information's on the website, I'll link it up. But, yeah, so I also want to mention, too, the reason why I got this trailer and the rod locker and the DZ box was simply just because I want to be able to just go out and fish. I don't want to be messing around with, you know, storing a bunch of stuff in my truck and having it being all crowded and everything, rods in my face and stuff. It's just kind of annoying to me. And, uh, kind of looked a little messy um, back there and things start to get tangled up and things like that and uh, you know now I can just have everything rods ready to go all my equipment that I bring out on the water I got tools in there like I said um, the boats ready the batteries are charged um, and the trailer <laughs> the trailers ready like I said I can stow this under the DZ box and then I can pull it back out, hook it up to the truck, and I'm ready to go fishing. All in maybe 10 minutes, not even. So that's all from me. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Thank you for watching this video. And I will talk to you guys soon on another video, hopefully on the water. I'll see you guys. Bye.